Hi children, how are you all? Are you all fine? Hope you all are fine and well. Okay, let's begin the subject SS and chapter measure length forms. You know that different kind of length forms are there created by the sea waves, wind, and you know that different kind of length forms created by floating ice also. So, you already know that there are two kind of forces are there that endogenic and exogenic forces are there. So, by these all forces, you can see that some that land forms form. You know that some shapes are given to the land forms by these all forces. Weathering is that in erosion that are part of such kind of that force and that help in shaping and modifying that land forms. That weathering and you know erosion they are some such part. So they frame this kind of land forms. Weathering is the process. Weathering is the process by breaking up and uh, disintegrating of the rocks. It is process by breaking and disintegration of some rocks on the surface of the earth. Means the weathering means some rocks will be broken and disintegration of rocks. It may be caused by water, ice, and wind. This disintegration can be happen by the wind, air, and you no, know, by ice can also. So you know the climate always change, and you know whether it happens only at one place at three at three moments, and there is no movement. Of that broken rocks from that one place to another place, and it generally formed by erosion. That generally that erosion forms some landforms. The carrying away of some removal of a top layer of the earth, I mean soil, with broken that weathering rocks particles by uh, action of wind and water and sea waves and the moving ice for erosion so that removal of their layer by the action of wind ice and water so it is called that erosion so now we will see further land forms that created by the rivers so the earth receives that water from rainfall and some rain waters on the surface of the earth Sir, rainwater will enter in underground water inside the earth. So it is called that underground water. The water is on the earth. It is called that surface means ground water. You can see that many that tributaries that join to form a river and the origin of a river is called that source. The river, whenever it will begin that origin it is called that source and it finally flows into the sea you know that all rivers that finally flows in the sea from its origin so the opening of that is called that that source the place where a river meets the sea or ocean called its mouth so whenever the river will start from any mountain that is that source it is called source and the river mixed with the mid with the sea that is called that mount so the area drained by a river and its tributary is called a river basin the area which was drained by the river and its tributary is called that basin you know, a river plays major role in shape in the earth surface. A river plays major role in shaping the earth surface. That you know, that three ways are there: that erosion.
erosion, transportation and deposition. Erosion and transportation and that deposition. These are the three ways that river forms that land forms. So these are the three ways. The erosions are there, you know, transportation and the deposition. So the course of river, you know, the course of a river, the entire direction of a course of a river from source to mouth is divided in three stages. The entire that you know course of a river from its uh, source to its mouth is divided in three that stages. The upper course, the middle course, and the lower course. The upper course, the middle course, and the lower course. The upper course. We we'll talk about the upper course. The upper course of a river is near to its origin in the mountain. The upper course of a river is very near to its origin when it begins from the mountain. Here the slope is there and the land is steep and the river carries that less water. Here the slope is there. That's why the river carries that less amount of water. Thus it flows like a narrow stream. From that source, there is a slow amount is there, slope is there, river flows with less water, so there is a slope, so it flows like a stream. Then, the tip, we separate, sometimes these flowing rivers that form that we separate way and with narrow and deep with steep sides, taking the sides of the ladder and it formed like a V set when river erodes the rock sideways then this time he saved the V saved when he formed. Gorge. Second thing is gorge. A gorge is a deep and narrow valley with steep rocky walls. Gorge is a narrow that deep narrow valley with uh, the steep rocky that was. It is also that located between the hills or mountains. It is narrow valley and located by the hills or the mountains and it is usually formed when the river erodes and erodes hard rocks vertically. It is formed when the river erodes that all rocks vertically. Then canyons canyon is there a large side of that steep wall a large side of a steep wall and float water a valley is formed that is called canyon valley this is the in that Colorado in USA then examples of this terms valley waterfall is there a waterfall you know generally a waterfall is formed from the mountain it falls. So when a cascade of a water, no, cascade of a water falls from a great height over a step valley sides, that is called that waterfall. It falls with a great speed from the mountains or cascade of a great height when water falls down, that is called that waterfalls. North America and the Victoria Falls are there. In Africa, that Vistapla Valley is there. Then you know that waterfall is there during that Victoria Falls. You know, then in Africa, Zambia, the greatest waterfall. Then you know that the middle course is there. The upper course, then middle course. The middle course of a river is found in the gently sloping the middle course of river you can find just gently sloping of the land of plains here it collects more water from the tributaries so here this way this that 
when is that we were coming it is creates and it generates more water that from the tributaries and it becomes wider slower and forms various landforms in the middle course it forms various landforms that flow happen and more amount of water will flow in river it also forms various landforms so some as a forms are created like you said the very wilderness and oxbow lakes and you can flood plains natural lakes is all can so first of all please see you said when you said when it is formed it has deep sides and the curve inside then the base of belly was like the taking the slash tip of the ladder that you the water flows from the u shape it from the v shape belly and on the u shape the water flows with the speed and curve inside that base of the belly that fall taking the shape of ladder u that is called u shaped belly and it erodes and wide then minnetrek and then oxbow that lakes a minnetrek a minnetrek is a simply a bank in slow moving that you know river it formed that due to the erosion it is a that minnetrek is like a river slow form and it shaped like a, that formed due to the erosion transportation and deposition came formed by erosion transportation and deposition due to the contents that erosion and deposition the, the meandering loops become that almost circular movement and their ends come to close each other the circular loop of the meander that is left behind that completely cut off that main channels and this is known as oxbow that lakes it cut from the completely from the main that uh, channels and it formed that oxbow lakes flood plains are there flood you are generally familiar about that flood during the rainy season the river gets lot of amount of that water in it and uh, overflows and flood and adjust the area then you know when the river water slides and sediments and slips over the materials it left behind the first of porous materials such as the gravel clays deposited and the river bed a smoother one that slip and clay deposited that further forming the flood plains floods of the river it contains lot of material with them when the floods will over it forms a flood plains natural that leaves now we'll say but natural leaves are elevated slopes form due to deposition of sediments and slips and other materials are there so because of that it forms close to a river bed over time and this act of that natural walls can that help to direct flow of the water so natural leaves related form the slopes and in the slopes the water falls and it deposited and materials close to the river bank over a long time and the act of the natural walls happen that can help direct flow of the river that is called natural leaves okay next thing is that that lower that course lower course of the river you can see that the lower course of a river in the place here the river become that sluggish partly and because of the slope the land partly because the force which reduces here the river becomes sluggish and the force will happen reduce you know the amount of water was more here and the force
force with flows that reduces. Hence, cannot carry that heavy loads. Here, the river cannot carry heavy loads because of the slope that speed. So, it deposits that our materials and more deposit of sediments in that mouth. So, it forms at lower course. Delta, you know, delta. Delta is a triangular that shapes and length that is the formula by the between the tributaries and that distributaries near the mouth of a river. Near the mouth of a river, the delta is formed that in a triangular shape the river forms that length that is in called delta. The Greek alphabet that triangular shape and with the river Ganga and Brahmaputra that form the largest delta in the world. Story. Story is that, that all rivers, all the rivers do not form that delta. All the rivers are there, they do not fall that form that delta. But a river which does not form that delta directly flows in the that opening and that at its mouth it gradually widens and the funnel shape is there, the opening of the mouth of the river is called that history. So that all the rivers they directly they did not that they directly they did not fall in the river. Uh, they did not form that delta. So from its source to the mouth it's a, without that delta it forms. So that that funnel shape of opening of that mouth of the river and is called that Tributaries. The river do not form that delta and it form do not form delta and directly it flows and the narrow opening of its mouth which gradually that widens we can see that into a sea and its funnel shape that opening at the mouth of the river is called that estuary. So this is that the estuary so that river we can see that land forms created by that rivers, course of river, upper course, middle course and lower course. In upper course that you say already called canyons, waterfalls we are seeing. Then middle course, you say already, melanders, box hole that creates, flood plains, natural levels and lower course that is delta and estuaries. So these are the forms of that land forms.